We will show you how to make Bob's Indian Miner Trap. You need some mesh, square mesh, 25mm by 25mm squares, 30 metres long, we'll make about 14 traps, 90 centimetres high. The trap is made up of a trap compartment and a holding compartment. The birds go in through a funnel into the trap and then into the holding compartment through another funnel. Here's a list of the parts. A. Petition. B and C are the ends. D is the floor, sides and top. E. Funnel into the compartment. F. The end of the funnel. G, the doors, and H, the inlet funnel. The birds enter through here and can't get out. They jump up on the perch and then try to get out through funnel E and end up in the holding compartment. You get the birds out through the doors on the top. Here are the plans. Part A internal petition, you see where the funnel between the holding pen and the trap is placed, that's the uh, the hole. They are 11 by 15. The ends are both 11 by 15 also. The top, bottom and long sides It's just a 52 square length cut from the roll, folded in three places, and holes are cut for the doors at the top and the entrance funnel. The funnel into the holding compartment, part E, is 5 by 12. Folded as indicated. Part F is the end of the funnel into the holding compartment. There are two doors at the top. They are 6x6. Six six. A funnel into the main trap compartment is 12x7 and cut out as indicated. Fold where the red lines go. There's a perch, a couple of perches, a water tin, a tuna tin or something, and shade for the holding pen. We we'll require wire cutters. Here's Bob cutting out the section for parts A, B and C. We'll cut a 15 square wide strip off the roll of wire and this will make the ends and the internal partition. Is the internal partition Bob's cutting out? That's the internal position. And now one of the ends. Both the ends are identical.
Now folding the long sides and the floor and the top. Use a straight edge. Straight edge, hammer and long legs. Double check them. And now the funnel from the trap to the holding compartment. What's his uh He's got two, five, five by twelve. Five by twelve. Yeah. See, three. Bend it on the third one. Now make an end for the funnel into the holding compartment. And cut the hole where the birds dive into the holding compartment once they've walked in through the funnel. And now attach the perch that they jump onto to walk into the funnel. Attach the funnel to the internal partition. Cut the hole into the funnel that leads the birds into the holding pen. Now attach the internal petition 15 squares from the end He's right handed just out on the right hand side you could left hand now the funnel into the main trap takes a bit of tricky cutting out. Let's follow this pattern. And then fold it so it's just like that one that Bob's done. Bob or it doesn't matter. It doesn't make much difference. Five. 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 
hard wood. Well now attach the other end. Now Jan, Jan up at our office, yep. she, she had one of these traps and caught 21. And now the doors at the top to get the birds out. Now where along the door? Six by six. That one. That's right. One for the holding pen and one for the main trap. Door hinges. Opening you cut a four by four out of the middle. Four, just four square. That way the long ends to fold over. And fold them over the well. Sometimes you go the other way. They break. You don't want them to break because they'll be sharp? No, they leave a gap. Leave two just standing straight up, they are used to secure the door shut. Just curl them over so the wire can be poked through them. So ready to go. Bit of wire closes the lid, closes the door. Need a perch for the holding pen and a shelter to protect the birds. Use puppy food, dog food, cat food. Place it near the uh, funnel, the inlet funnel, inside. Anyway, happy trapping. <laughs>